So today we're going to be making the Project Lead the Way um, skimmer. Um, to do that, remember it's very important that we have not only straight lines but also parallel lines. So when I'm working with the skimmer, I always like to reference the bottom here because I know this is straight and I can use that to work my way up. So I'm going to start here at the bottom, I'm going to measure up a half inch, measure up three inches from that dot I just made, or three and a half inches up from the very bottom, and then half inch up from that, or four inches up total from the very bottom. Same thing on the other side. So half inch up, three inches up from that, and then another half inch up from that point. So again, these dots are a half inch from the bottom. These dots here are three and a half inches from the bottom. These dots here are four inches from the bottom. So from there, I will connect those dots using my ruler. Again, very important that you have straight and parallel lines. At this point, all of our lines that I'm drawing right now are parallel to the bottom edge of this folder. Now our skimmer, yes, it's four inches total in width, but it is only 11 inches long. So I'm going to measure off 11 inches, measure off 11 inches, and then this is a portion we do not need. Our skimmer also has a section in the main body that's three inches up from the bottom. So I'm going to measure three inches up, three inches up, and then this is going to get connected. You'll see some places that this is the dotted line. Um, just know that we're going to fold here eventually, just like we're going to fold here and fold here. But um, solid line, dotted line, no problem. From there, I'm going to measure up just so that way I have room to work, a half inch from the line that I have here at the top of my main body, and then three inches up from that. Same thing over here. I will measure a half inch up from my main body, and then three inches up from that because this section right here that's three inches wide is going to house my two fins and my air scoop. Since the fins are three inches wide and, or sorry, three inches tall and the air scoop is also three inches tall, if I put them in here, I don't have to worry about the height because I already know I have them in this three inch section. So this is dead space, I don't need this. And then this up here is not going to be used either. Now to make my fins, which is what I start with first, I'm going to make both of them at the same time. So I'm going to use my ruler. I'm going to measure over three inches because one fin is three inches wide. And then the other fin is three inches wide. So I measure three inches and three inches, which is six inches total. And I'm going to do the same thing at the top. Three inches over, six inches over, or an additional three inches. But our fins have a portion at the top that's a half inch wide, so I'm going to measure a half inch in, and I'm going to measure a half inch in. When connecting here, I need a half inch section that goes up, and I'm going to connect from my half inch mark straight down to that line I just created that's a half inch tall. Same thing over here. And then connect straight down. In here is dead space. So we have your main body. Fin number one. Fin number two. 
For the air scoop, I just make a three by three square first. We already have the three inches in height, so we just need to make the three inches in width. I'm gonna measure over an inch so I have some room to work with, and then three inches from there. And then measure over an inch, again at the top, and then three inches from there. I can connect those dots that I just made straight down so I have a square. And then I'm gonna me measure one eighth of an inch at the top. One eighth of an inch is two of those little lines on the ruler. One eighth of an inch at the top, two of those little lines. And then three eighths of an inch at the bottom, which is six little lines on the ruler. And then to finish the air scoop, I'm going to connect those two diagonal dots here. And you have your air scoop. If you have any questions about how I made any of this, please rewind the video, rewatch it. Um, and if there's anything else I can do to help, we can talk in class. Thank you for watching.